Welcome to the second of a three-part video series on the Framing Square Rafter Tables. In this video, we'll look at lines three and four that correspond to the difference in lengths of hip jack rafters. As in the last video, we'll be using a four and 12 pitch roof. That is, for every 12 inches of run, the roof rises four inches. That also means that we must look at the numbers under the four inch mark on the framing square. And in this video, since we're investigating lines three and four, we must match 16 and 7 eighths inches and 25 and 5 16 inches. We'll now look at the difference in length of jacks with 16 inch centers. We're using a four and 12 pitch roof. And here I have the top view or plan view of a hip roof. You know from the framing square that the number we need to match is 16 and 7 eighths inches. When we talk about jacks, we're talking about hip jacks. And they're rafters that are gonna go from the plates to the hip rafter. And since the hip rafter is at a 45 degree angle to the plates, Naturally, these hip jack rafters have to get smaller as we get closer to the end of the roof. Since we're talking about 16 inch centers, I'm gonna say that these lines are 16 inches apart. Since we have a 45 degree line representing the hip rafters, I know that 16 inches of run is also 16 inches of rise. And that means that if I find out what the length of this jack rafter segment is, that is the difference in length between these two jack rafters. Now, when I go to find this length, I gotta ask, well, am I talking about a common rafter or am I talking about a hip rafter? A hip rafter goes this way, 45 degree angle, but this is actually a 90 degree angle between the hip jack and either the plates or the ridge board. So I'm gonna use common rafter formulas, just like the ones we developed in the last video. The first line in the framing square gave us 12.65 inches of common rafter per foot of run. So we need 16 inches in feet. So that's 16 divided by 12. That's 12.65 times 16 divided by 12. And that gives us 16.866, it would round to 87. I'm going to use a fancy feature of this calculator to convert this number to the nearest 16th of an inch. 16 and 7 eighths is the nearest 16th. So we've matched our number. For line five, the difference in lengths of jacks with two feet centers, the problem is just as easy. We need to match the number now 25 and 5 sixteenths inches. That's the difference, the common difference. So now instead of 16, we have 24 inches, 24, 24, and everything else is still the same. 12.6 uh, inches per foot of run, that's for a common rafter. Uh, and now instead of 16 over 12, we have 24 over 12. It's exactly two feet. So all we need to do is multiply 12.65 times two. 25.3, I'm gonna convert that to the nearest 16th of an inch, 25 and 5 sixteenths. So that's how you get the common difference in length between the hip jack rafters. Don't forget to join for the last video in the series, which covers lines five and six on side cuts. When we study side cuts, we're gonna to have to leave two dimensions and Think in 3D. This makes things a little harder and a lot more interesting.